What's up, everybody? It's your host, Jarrell, and this is a new show we call Heat or Week. This is about the cool sneaker releases coming out and see if they hot or not, and if somebody will cop or not. Let's go. This week is the All Star Weekend, and now we're going to see the sneakers from Nike to Jordan to Adidas. It's a lot of heat this week. Can't wait to get into it. All right, first up, we have Midnight Navy Jordan Arms. Now, these, these are nice. The blue and white, it's like UNC colorway. I rock these. They resell at 190. I know it's skate, but you know Jordan's Nike. They always do this every time. Okay. Now for our next stick, we have the Air Jordan One Turbo Green. Now these, these are a new kind of sneaker. Jordan Ones are a retro, but this colorway never been seen. I know this is gonna fly off the shelves. These resell at 160. You know what, everybody's on the line. Now next up, another Air Jordan 1. Now this one, patent leather. I have a patent leather Jordan 1 called the Gold Tools, but these are women edition. Now I wish they was for men's because I copped these in a second. Now this shoe, before I put it up, this is a, a real retro. Something that's been around since about the 1990s that every time it comes out, it's highly requested. And now it's the Air Jordan 6 Infrared. Now a lot of people get upset about the red because it looks kind of pink and it's not really a red. But these, this year, it looks real red. I'm pretty sure these going to flop the shelves too. But these will resell for $200. Other Air Jordan 6, the NRG Jordan 6. It's purple and black. Never seen these before. It's like kind of, kind of suede with leather, patent leather on the tongue. Yeah, it's not really for me. Not at all. Now these released already. The Air Jordan 5 Laney's, or we call it Varsity Royal. These are a nice pair of shoes retail for $200. They didn't go off the shelf like I thought they would, but they still a nice shoe nonetheless. You got the blue, the yellow, and the cement. And between the blue and the yellow and the midsole, that's a nice with 23 in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna copy these eventually. I got Next up is the Why Not Zero Two on the game or the Russell Westbrook Twos. The Westbrook ones were trash basically, and these look trash too. There are a lot of colors on it, like a zoo on it actually. Yeah, Jordan brand, I don't know. Now, next shoe, this is the Futuristic Stew. We call it the Adapt Basketball, the future of the game. Now these retail for $350. You yeah, let that sink in. Will I get them? No, because it's too expensive. Will I want them? Yes. I mean, who don't? Who wants their own self placed shoes. It's, well, next up we have the KD11 on Pearl. Now KDs they fell off over the years. They haven't been good since the 6 or the 7. But the on Pearl's always been a good colorway. On Pearl is basically like his main attraction. These retail for about 150. They're all pink. They're like a breast cancer basketball shoe. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people buy these because it's pink. Next up is the Kyrie 5 Rocket or Rokit. I don't know, R-O-K-I-T, something like that. Colorful shoe. Kyrie 5 is probably one of his best models besides the two and the one. It's colorful. Would I wear these? No. I want them for basketball, but not casually. You know there are basketball shoes. A lot of basketball shoes are worn casually, so that's why, you know. Now the PG3 All-Star. Garbage. PG shoes are like the worst basketball shoes now. I have no idea why they think they're so good. I think of the PlayStation shoes. The PlayStation's were nice. The blue, black, and the gray ones. I like all of them. But the three is just garbage. I'm sorry. Now here's another woman's release. It's the Air Foam Posit 1 Floral. You know, a lot of females don't like the, the girly stuff on their shoes. But Nike feels the need to do that on the shoes. I'm pretty sure he's gonna sell. Phones fell off lately, but I think he's gonna sell. And I think men with like smaller feet are gonna get like the bigger women sizes and try to like flip them like that. Yeah, I think I think they'll do good. Now here's a model called Air Swoops 2 Floral. It's like the same as the Air Phone Posit, but it's in a different model. This is actually a men's release. Don't know why they didn't have 
This one was released too, but hey, have it their way. Trash though, by the way, I have to do trash. Next up is another floral colorway, but in a bad little case. As you can see, this shoe is like two shoes at once, make a girl like five little taller. Yeah. These are actually kind of nice though, honestly. I wouldn't wear them before. Females are actually nice. Next up is a regular Air Force One floral. There's a lot of florals I know. Probably tired of them. There's also a woman's shoe. And this was nice also. I like the basic the basic models with the florals. It's better than the Air Shoes 2, which is kind of extra. And last but not least for Nike and Jordan is the Air Morph Temple 710 720 QS. Past meets future. Yeah, this I don't like it at all. This is a this is the Air Max 720 bottom with the Arab Temple upper. It just looks awkward to me. I don't I don't get why they did it, but they did it. You might have some sell. They're gonna sell out. I know that. Yeah, it's trash. All right. So lastly, we have Adidas. Adidas, they fell off lately. They haven't had really, they haven't really had a lot of releases. They always have Ultra Boots or NMDs re releasing, but nobody wears those anymore. They actually they caught a lot of flat for releasing a, 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 a Black Piercing Monk shoe. It was really late. It was all white, but it had some color and an insole. It was really late. They caught a lot of flat for that. But now they're back with the Adidas X Big Collab. These, you know, these are gonna go like fast because they're beat, but they're actually nice. I see a lot of football players wearing cleats they have, I see a lot of people casually wearing ultra boots they have. Me, I want them, but I'll probably get them, no, because you know, people always want them. But yeah, well, that'll do for this show. Nice to see y'all, nice to meet y'all. Yeah, I look forward to seeing y'all later on. Look forward to seeing y'all in the future. Have a good day. I'll be back. This is me, Jarrell. This is Heater Week. One more thing before I forget. Every week, I'm going to do this on your feet. Alright? I got the intro on my bridge. And nice and simple. Nice and simple. Wait, before I forget, make sure you comment down below. Was Heat of Week? What you think is nice? What you think is trash? What you think what you'll probably pick up? Alright? I'll see you next time on Heat of Week.